Hi, I'd like to welcome you out to another Superdale tip. In this tip, I'm going to go through and show you. I went through on my laptop and uh, installed a solid state drive, and uh, I want to tweak it a bit so that uh, it actually performs a little bit better, as well as so that I don't have to uh, worry about writing too many times to the drive. One thing about the solid state drives is that you are limited to the number of writes that you can uh, do to a drive. Typically, most users will never exceed its lifetime, but uh, I'm one of those guys that's a little paranoid. So let me show you what I'm going to do. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make sure that um, by default that um, Windows, in this case here I'm using um, Server 2008 R2, but this would also apply to Windows uh, 7. Uh, I want to make sure that the trim uh, is, is currently being uh, utilized. And so one of the ways that I can do that is technology is to help with um, solid states. And Windows 7 and, and Server 2008 R2 should pick this up. I'm just going to open up a command prompt. And from here, I'm going to just type in the command fsutil.exe. And then I'm going to type in some variables here. The first one is behavior. And I'm going to query the behavior. <clears throat> and I'm going to say, please show me if uh, disabled, delete, uh, notify. Um, and I'm just going to hit return, and I should get that it's equal to zero. This tells me that trim is currently turned on. That's exactly what I want to see. The next thing I want to do is I want to turn off some of the Windows accelerators that uh, that actually might cause additional read writes. Those are going to be include things like prefetch, superfetch, ready boost, uh, ready drive. You don't need those features uh, with a solid state drive because it's so stinking fast already. So uh, to make sure that uh, Prefetch is disabled. I want to open up our favorite tool called the uh, Registry Editor, which is just doing a regedit. And from regedit, I'm going to explore here into HKey Local Machine. I'm then going to come down into System, the Current Control Set. Then I'm going to come into Control, and then I'm going to come down here to Sessions. Actually, sorry, Sessions Manager. There we go. Sessions Manager. And I'm going to move this over a bit so you can read a little bit more here. Uh, and inside of system, um, Session um, Manager, I'm going to come into Memory Manager. And here are the prefetch parameters. And the one that I really want to focus on here is whether or not prefetcher is currently enabled. And it right here says Enable Prefetcher. Uh, currently, it's set for 3. And I want to change this to a 0. So I'm going to just change this one to a 0. It, okay, and this is actually it should go through and free up some uh, space. Uh, I'll have to reboot the machine in order to get it to uh, be actually applied. The next thing I want to do is um, go through and uh, make sure that's that was the prefetch. I want to now disable the superfetcher. Uh, superfetcher again isn't required for SSDs, so we need to disable it. So in this case here, to disable it, I'm going to come to Start, come to my computer, I'm going to right click on it and select Manage. And from here I'm going to come down to my configuration and under Services. I come down here to my Windows, see if it's running here. Okay, and so what I'm looking for here, here is Superfetch. There it is right there. I want to go ahead and disable this bad boy. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that service. After it's stopped, I'm going to go ahead and also make sure that it doesn't start back up when I restart my machine. I'm going to just put it on Disable. Another thing that's going to hurt me as far as rewrite times is going to be indexing. So I'm going to go in and disable my indexing. Come down here to my Windows search. Notice it's currently running. I'm going to change it. Indexing isn't necessary for solid states. So I'm going to disable that bad boy. And let's go ahead and turn it off as well. 
And another feature I want to turn off is write cache. Uh, solid state drives don't have cache, so there's no point of um, writing to cache. So in this case here, I'm going to go into my device manager. Uh, actually, let's go this route here. Come into my device manager. There we go. Come into my drives. I'm going to find the drive itself, and there's my solid state. I only need to do this for the solid state itself. I go into the properties for it. Come into the policy. And from here, I'm going to go through and make sure that uh, I uncheck both the enable write cache option, which should also uncheck the uh, turn off Windows cache. So I'm disable that, and that should be good there. Okay, another thing I'm going to turn off, uh, especially for Windows 7, uh, not so much for Server 2008, but I'll go ahead and show you here, is that we want to turn off the system restore points, uh, at least on the OS partition. Now, in my particular case, just to show you here, I've got uh, two drives. Actually, you can see there's three of them there, but this is actually an external drive. So my my um, OS is actually located on my solid state, and then I install all my applications like Office and Winamp and uh, just everything else, uh, Foxit, all on a separate uh, drive. And that's a separate spindle. It's just a 750 gig regular SATA drive. But what I want to do is I want to actually turn off the restore points here uh, for the uh, OS partition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come here into my computer, go under properties for it, I'm going to come into my advanced settings. Um, let's see, I want to go into, um, I'm going to go into my system protection tab. And it's going to whirl and crank here for a second, see if it's currently running. You notice that I do have it on for the D drive. For the C drive, I went through and turned it off already. And how you do that is you just simply come into configure and actually just turn it off for that particular drive. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on there though. That's another drive that I'm utilizing. Okay. Another item I'm going to want to turn off would be uh, hibernation. Um, unfortunately, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately, but I'm running Hyper-V um, on my server laptop here. And when you install Hyper-V, it actually disables the ability for the machine to go into hibernation mode. So one of the things that you could do is you could just open up a, a command prompt to turn it off quickly. Um, and you can just type in uh, power. CFG for power config, and you do a dash H for hibernation, and then off. Oop, office, hello. Uh, and then off, and you hit enter. My wouldn't actually work. Well, yeah, see, it's not going to work because I can't use hibernation um, again on the Cyber V machine. Um, let's see, other things that I would go through and do as well would include changing the uh, page file. To uh, um, uh, I don't need to be paging on the drive that's a solid state. So again, I'm going to come into the properties, come into my advanced system settings. Um, I come here into performance. Here we go, advanced, uh, and my page file. You notice I took it off of my C drive, and I put everything onto my D drive here. And I have this tendency of doing this, and that is. Um, Microsoft will come up with a, a minimum and a maximum. Uh, I just do take whatever they say is the maximum. I make it the minimum as well. This way here, I don't have any performance issues as far as trying to take the uh, page file and expanding it out or shrinking it down, which is what happens normally. It's dynamic. This one here, I just have a static uh, size that's set up for me. And, of course, the last thing I would do is go through and disable my defragging. Um, again, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to come into my computer, go into properties, and then I want some things here. I've got too many things open here. Let's try that again. Uh, computer, manage. Sorry, that's what I meant to do. Manage. Uh, I'm going to come down here into my services. 
find my defrag. I'm going to make sure that it's turned off as well. So that's how you can go through and speed up the performance of your solid state drive. Once you reboot, it should actually not necessarily get faster than what it was, but you'll help prolong the life of the drive as you uh, utilize it. Thanks for uh, joining me for this uh, Superdale tip.